Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Marcio. As you guys may know, or as you guys may have noted, I really, really love Java. I think it is a great programming language and I would dare to say it is the GOAT. Yeah, I really think Java is great and I really love this programming language. But I have a confession to make to you guys. I found a new love, which is the Go programming language. Of course, I'm not replacing my first love, but my heart's big enough to accommodate this second programming language as my second love. Go is a statically compiled programming language designed at Google. It is syntactically similar to C, but with memory saved, garbage collection, structural typing, and CSP style concurrence. The Go language has built-in facilities as well library support for writing concurrent programs. The Golang is similar to C, but it is better than C because we don't work with those raw types, pointers, and also it has a lot of focus on concurrency. I will leave a link in the description below for you guys about the CSP style so you guys can take a look because I'm not gonna go into those details in this video. I'll say that the first thing that caught my eyes on Golang was the fact that it is a truly compiled language, which is different from Java or Python, or as a matter of fact, any other programming language that uses a virtual machine as a middleman to run our code. And in Java or in Python, that compiled code goes into that process, then it generates a bytecode, and then that bytecode can be executed by the virtual machine, either the Java virtual machine or the Python virtual machine. So this is basically the process that they both have. On Golang, that's different because the compiler simply outputs an executable file, which is um, .exe for Windows, or an executable linking format or ELF format for Linux or Unix. Enough talking, now it's the time for our demo. I'm gonna show you guys how to write code in Golang. And of course, we have to do something really deep, complete and complex so I can show you guys all of its power. What we're gonna do is simply creating a hello world program. I know it's not that complex, it's not that deep or complete, but we'll be able to have a taste of the structure of the code, how the programming language works, and the syntax, the compilation process, and how we run that code. Later on, we'll be extending that example to include fancier things. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new folder. So just to accommodate my Golang project. So I'll give Golang first project. And then I'm gonna go into that folder. Second step is I'm gonna create a new subfolder. That's gonna be my hello world project. And then I'm gonna go to that folder. So we have nothing here. Now we're going to initialize our new module, which is gonna be our new program uh, with the command go mod init. And then we're gonna simply give it a namespace. It's gonna be example slash hello. Then we have created this new module here. Now we have inside this folder is a go mod. That's the project or the package management file for Go inside this project. I just opened that folder here with Visual Studio, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna start writing code. Now, I'm gonna create a new file here called hello.go. That's the extension for Golang files. I'm gonna give you it a package name. The package name is gonna be main because that's the generic package. I have nothing special here. Next step is to import a library. I'm gonna import a formatting library. It's a very common and useful library. Import FMT. Now I'm gonna write a code to print a hello world or hello Marcio. It's gonna be a function called main because that's gonna be the main entry point. FMT print and hello Word. That's all we have to do here. As you guys can see, the syntax here is similar to the C program, program language without those crazy pointers and stuff. Now let's run our code, go back to our command line and go run hello.go. And that's it, we have our hello world working. As you guys can see, that was pretty simple to write this code. Now let's extend our example here. Let's do something a little bit more challenging. Instead of just writing everything inside the same function here, we're going to create a new module. And a module is simply a way to organize our code and we can add things that are related together inside a module. You can see a module as a folder as well. And let's imagine we have an application that has functions to work with uh, financial analysis. We can have a module just to add those financial analysis functions and any other piece of code can use this shared or this shareable module and it's quite easy. Going back here to the command line, let me um, go back here and I'm gonna create a new folder here. It's gonna be greetings and let me go inside that folder. 
as you guys can see, I have nothing here. So I'm gonna initialize a new module here for my greetings project. It's gonna be go mod init as we have done before and example.com slash greetings. So this is a simple namespace. It can be anything. And in this case, I just chose to be example.com slash greetings. Simply executing this command. Now we have the go mod here. Now our module is ready to receive our code. Okay, now I got here this new project open as you guys can see here the greetings and i also have my old hello program here as well now let me uh, create a new file here i'm gonna call it greetings.go now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna declare the package name here the package name is gonna be greetings which is the namespace i gave it i'm also gonna import fmt which is for formatting and now i'm gonna write my function that will be reused by another module the fun hello name string so this is a parameter that my function will receive and i'm gonna return a string back now i'm gonna write the actual code to the function body and then it's gonna be simply i'm gonna say hi someone welcome and we're going to replace this percent v with whatever name we pass from the parameters here so it's quite Quite simple, quite easy. And just to take a look at this structure here, that's a function declaration. That's a function name, hello. Name is a parameter, that type is a string, and it's gonna return a string. So that's a very powerful way to express a definition in Golang. As I said before, it is a statically compiled programming language and strongly typed as well. So which means we always have to work with predefined types in order to write our code. It's not dynamic, such as JavaScript or Python. It's more like C or Java. Now we're gonna do something pretty cool. We have our code here, which is in the greetings folder, as you guys can see. It's not executable because we don't have a function main to execute this code here. It needs to be called from somewhere else. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Let's take a look at our old code here. And instead of simply, simply saying hello world, let's use that greetings module to do the work for us. So let's do a few changes in here. Uh, we'll still be importing FMT but we will also be importing the greetings. At this point in time, it does not recognize where greetings is located because it is inside another folder and not in a public repository, for example. So we're gonna fix that soon. Next step is to replace here our hello world. We're going to do something else. Let's say message we will receive. It is a type inference here. Greetings dot hello Marcio. Empty print message. Pretty cool. Now it's a time where we are going to fix this over here because we have to tell the hello project where the greetings module is located. And that's gonna do it right now. Let's go back to the command line here. Let's go to the hello folder and yeah. You only have a module and the hello.go. Now we're going to run a new command here, which is this one, go mod edit. And then we're going to replace that namespace to a relative folder, which is, okay, just replace this namespace here or redirect this namespace here to this physical folder here, which is exactly our folder structure here. So let me go back here. We have two subfolders here, hello and greetings. And now I'm going to the hello and telling go to simply redirect that namespace into the other subfolder. That's all we have to do. Okay, let's take a look again here in the project. We simply did the redirection. And now if you take a look at the go mods here, there is a replace here to redirect to the proper place. Next step here to fix that is go mod type. Then uh, it says, okay, I found that module that you told me to redirect and this is the version now seems to be whole good. It's the time to run our code again, clean up the screen and go run hello. And now, hi, welcome, Marcio. It's pretty cool, pretty simple. And yeah, that's all for this video. What we have done is we have created a simple code first, a hello world. Then we have also created a new module to be a reusable library where we have a function here just to return a string saying hi someone whoever is in the parameter name and then we use our hello world code to run or to execute the function hello in here. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Please do not forget to like my video, click on the subscribe button as well and also click on the notification bell. This way you guys won't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.